เซียน we we do have ASEAN way mm-hmm. which we tend to do thing quite gradually mm-hmm. slowly mm-hmm. but uh, to make sure that everybody mm-hmm. in the board or all the country agree and we should not focus only the high skill yeah, labor high skill. we should look at at low skill labor as mm-hmm. well because we do need that kind of labor I think Malaysia also yeah. IMT GT scholarship program mm-hmm. IMT refer to Indonesia Malaysia, Malaysia Thailand, Thailand yeah. growth triangle, yeah. growth triangle. Uh, scholarship yeah. สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Thailand Today Program. I'm Kusuma y o t a s m u t z i n a z i a n was founded in 1967. It has melted into a community focused on economic integration and growth and consensus building, which has resulted in unprecedented growth. ASEAN is now both the world's seventh largest market. And third largest labor force, and has been projected to become the fourth largest economic bloc by 2030. As ASEAN celebrates its 50th anniversary in 2017, our program will discuss with Associate Professor Dr. Kitty p r a s a s u k He is the director of the Institute of East Asian Studies, t h a m a s a t University, and he also coordinator. Of the ASEAN Watch Project and the Thailand Research Fund, or TRF, about its success for the last 50 years, and how ASEAN community will continue to try forward with its regional integration efforts to narrow the development gap and deliver more benefits to more people for real change in the future. Please join me to welcome Associate Professor Dr. Kitty p r a s e r s u k He is the director of the Institute of East Asian Studies, t h a m a s a t University, and he also the coordinator of the ASEAN Watch Project under the Thailand Research Fund, or calling in short is TRF. สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีครับ We well, welcome to Thailand to the program, sir. Thank you, uh, Professor. ASEAN is 50 years, comparing to a, an old man. Mm. Uh, approaching to the beard, oh man! <laughs> uh, so, anything we are truly ASEAN at the moment. Before we getting into the detail of everything, anything truly ASEAN? I think uh, ASEAN. We we do have ASEAN way, mm-hmm. which we tend to do thing quite gradually, mm-hmm. slowly, mm-hmm. but uh, to make sure that everybody mm-hmm. in the board or all the country agree. Mm-hmm. And we we try to forge consensus mm-hmm. so that we we go together. We have. Uh, similar goals, common goals. Mm-hmm. That is the style of ASEAN. Yes, um, so it it gone accordingly to what we said in the beginning, or anything alteration or anything. Uh, it tend to to to, to follow to, to follow, to follow the same the, the, the ah. same principle. Okay. Although we we have some change uh-huh. in the way, but still uh-huh. we we stick to consensus and. Uh, consultation yeah. and also non-interference principle. Uh, to our audience in 177 countries worldwide, and we are talking about ASEAN was founded many years ago, like 50 years ago, and it was now like an uh, elderly mm. person uh, focused on economic integration, growth, and all that. Mm-hmm. So um, we so what is the we consider to be the most successful achievement? I think in ASEAN. Five decades, we have about five major achievements. Okay. Five major achievements. Yes, Let me go by please, decade please by do. decade. Please do. First, we we started 1967. Uh-huh. So then, about 10 years later, yes. In the mid 1970s, we have the first success that we uh, we a kind of having confidence uh-huh. and trust among, among a member country. Uh-huh. But before that, uh-huh. remember some country did have some territorial disputes. Right. Yeah, in neighbor in the south, uh-huh. right? Uh-huh. And but by 1976, mm-hmm. we are able to organize the first ASEAN summit in mm-hmm. Bali, 1976. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. all the leader of ASEAN came yeah. together. Mm-hmm. That showed that we we are trusting mm-hmm. each other mm-hmm. by then. Mm-hmm. 
So the second decade in in uh, the 1980s, mm-hmm. by the mid 1980s, mm-hmm. ASEAN has mm-hmm. developed a uh, unified voice, mm-hmm. a firm stance mm-hmm. against Vietnam occupation of Cambodia. Ah. That happened during the Cold War. Cold still, War, yes. uh, ah. Vietnam uh, came to occupy Cambodia during ah. that decade uh-huh. throughout the 1980s, mm-hmm. and ASEAN was very much unified mm-hmm. under the leadership of Thailand mm-hmm. uh, to mm-hmm. criticize. Uh, I mean, to to ask the world to sanction Vietnam mm-hmm. at that time. Mm-hmm. That is the second success. Mm-hmm. Third, uh, in the 1990s, the important mm-hmm. uh, success came up when when we achieved mm-hmm. quite economic growth mm-hmm. in the early 1990s, mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. ASEAN country became more confident, mm-hmm. more confident, and then we has become an important player in regional uh, process, mm-hmm. like uh, APEC, mm-hmm. Asia Pacific mm-hmm. Economic mm-hmm. Cooperation uh, Meeting, mm-hmm. ASEM. Mm-hmm. Asia Euro mm-hmm. meeting mm-hmm. and also the ARF ASEAN Regional Forum mm-hmm. to discuss about the security, changing security environment after mm-hmm. the end of the Cold War. Okay. That after the end of the Cold War, ah, so we ah. focus a lot on mm-hmm. on economics. Mm-hmm. That is the third success. Yes, and the fourth success happened in the mid 2000s. Mid 2000s that that mm-hmm. followed the financial crisis. You remember uh, uh, the Asian financial Asia crisis, the Tom Yam Gung crisis, 1997. Uh, 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 after that, ASEAN still engage a lot with with uh, a major power in Asia, starting mm. from China, Japan, Korea. Mm. We have ASEAN Plus Three, plus three ASEAN yes. Plus Three, mm. and then it developed into plus East Asia Summit, mm. ASEAN Plus Six, Six, Plus India, Australia, New Zealand, and New then Zealand. Plus uh, America. Korea? Uh-huh. America uh-huh. And, and Russia into uh-huh. ASEAN Plus uh-huh. Eight, uh-huh. East Asia Summit. Uh-huh. That means uh, major power uh, show their interest in engaging with ASEAN mm. and have ASEAN as the venue mm. so that major power can come to have dialogue, mm. conversation mm. with each other. Mm. That is the fourth success. Mm-hmm. And the fifth success mm-hmm. uh, happened just 2015. Mm. It's the ASEAN community. Mm-hmm. And mm. we, we tend to know it as ASEAN economic community okay. that we have achieved like a kind of common market mm. among ASEAN member countries. Mm. Yet there are still a problem, a lot of problem that I will mention later. Okay. But just for now, I think that we have five mm. major achievements. Pilar, a kind of uh, achievement. Mm-hmm. Right. Yes. So in in coming into journey to ASEAN, like you said, because mm. they see that the important, but uh, that means that they, they also see the stability they all see, see the future or what? Because ASEAN is so small when comparing to the European countries, the strong men like, you know. So mm. we only have uh, two big two powers into us, into mm. ASEAN. Mm. What does it mean? It means that they are they're looking for something beneficially. Well, I think ASEAN uh, can provide a good place, mm-hmm. a good meeting place mm. for major power to come mm. to discuss mm. some strategic Mm. issues mm. or even some common problems. Mm. I think ASEAN recently uh, strong in terms of non-traditional security. Mm. Uh, not, not traditional security okay. in terms of uh, nuclear uh, territorial uh, dispute. We are not strong not on that, that, that ground. Uh-huh. But on tra- non-traditional security, I think yeah. we are able to, to solicit mm. cooperation mm. Uh, with major power countries mm. like the US, mm. uh, China, Japan, Korea mm. or even Australia, India. Yeah. So it's are there like something like a world uh, kitchen, right? Mm. Because the food are being produced here more than the Western side. But we have our lots of audience in 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 yeah. for in European countries. So yeah. this is to know that we join, even if uh, even if you coming into it, you know. I mean the uh, foreign, the European coming into it. So what is the next one of the ASEAN economic community? So what are the specific progress and accomplishments until now? Well, for ASEAN economic community, mm-hmm. I think we have achieved a kind of uh, free trade area, free trade area. Uh, if, I would not if, say that after. we have achieved a common market uh, in a complete sense yet. Yeah. Uh, because if, if we have common market, we should uh, have a free flow of labor, free mm-hmm. flow of uh, capital. Mm-hmm. Now we, we tend to have more free flow of, of goods mm. in terms of free trade agreement, free uh-huh. trade uh-huh. area. Uh-huh. But in terms of labor, we, we still lag behind. Uh, mm. we, we agree to have eight professionals, mobility, mm. but in practice, mm. it's not that easy. It's not that easy because uh, professionals, in doctor, 
dentist, mm-hmm. nurse, mm-hmm. accountant, for mm-hmm. example, mm-hmm. engineer, architect, they still need to acquire or take the exam for professional license in other country mm-hmm. in order to practice. So it's not that it's not that free mm-hmm. yet. So a lot, a lot of work we, we need to do a lot of work. Mm-hmm. Even in terms of free trade area, mm-hmm. uh, sometimes we we go to bottleneck at the border because mm-hmm. to to get the the good past the border, it's not that convenient yet. Mm-hmm. And each country still have some variation in practice or in implementations. Mm-hmm. We would like to achieve single window, mm-hmm. but still uh, we are not reach that point yet. Yes. So, what? Already 50 years, sir. <laughs> but but <laughs> we, we, we how, have how not many, started 50 how years. How many now. to go? Because, uh, well, when you talk about labor, I'm a little worried about uh, the uh, laboring things. Uh-huh. Let me mention this a bit um, because um, okay, it seems like Thailand, the place, is a heaven for the for the labor to come in. Mm-hmm. So we could see the millions of them here mm-hmm. instead of Thailand as uh, Thai labor hardly go to anywhere. Hard to be accepted even in this way. Is there any channel, any way to 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 what you call to normalize or to balancing, to balance? The well, I think uh, Thailand has been graduated from exporting labor mm. uh, to to other country. I think previously we, previously we, we we did send we our did. labor to many country. But now uh, now we we still do, but do, do. but very few, very few. Uh, we do not have much manpower to be sent oversea. We need manpower. Ourself. Our self. <laughs> That's why we, we uh, import a lot of uh, uh, labor, labor from neighboring countries. Uh, so the situations, I think, uh, more about uh, non-skilled labor. Uh, I think ASEAN should, should work out yes. a better condition, uh, a better agreement mm-hmm. to accommodate mm. uh, labor, uh, I mean, low skill or non-skilled labor. Mm-hmm. But ASEAN just discuss about mm-hmm. high-skilled labor, mm. doctor, yes. dentist. Uh, nurses. Yeah. Nurses could, could see that some of them from the, our friends of Philippines, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. here, here, but uh, Thailand, I don't know, maybe you have to think about it because you are in part of it, <laughs> the study about the Asian thing. So this has to be reconsidered, I think, because uh, we are moving into the, the world of uh, fast and all that, you know, so. Right, right. Topic. I mean, we should not focus only yeah, the high skill labor. High skill. We should look at at low skill labor as mm. well because we do need that kind of labor. I think Malaysia also. Yeah, Professor. Singapore. I think but the high skill Thailand is sufficient. Right? We have sufficient doctor, we have uh, uh, not 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 yet. Not yet. Not yet. Nurses and all. No, well, we talk about five pillars. Mm. So we did talk about uh, economy already. Mm. Yeah? Because it's talk about goods and commodities mm. already done. So how about social culture? Community. That is the most lacking behind mm. community. Mm. I think uh, we, we have three pillars, right? Uh, three pillars. Economic, economic, community, so uh, political, political security, political community, and social and cultural ah. community. I think ah, yes. the social cultural community mm. be pretty much uh, insufficient in this mm. because uh, for ASEAN people, we do not have a kind of ASEAN identity yet. People mm. in general do not feel affiliated with ASEAN yet. Mm. ASEAN tend to be the process among leaders, ministers, mm. or high-ranked bureaucrats. Mm-hmm. So it's more state-led mm. ASEAN community mm-hmm. building. Mm-hmm. We mm-hmm. should go beyond state into people, in the fashion of people-to-people exchange, people-to-people community. Mm-hmm. ASEAN are uh, aware of this, mm-hmm. and they try to put it in declaration and so on. But mm-hmm. in practice, mm-hmm. still, we need a lot of work. Mm. Actually, what is what is the exact definition of the socio? What do you call socio? Just now we talked about cultural community. community. Yeah. What is actually that? It, I mean, it quite exchange, broad. It's quite broad. It is so broad mm. that. Uh, it means exchange it among exchange people. Um, about it means education. Uh-huh. It means uh, social welfare. I think ASEAN tend to incorporate so many things. Mm. We need we need a focus. We, did, we need a target. We, we need two less for what we talk more. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to be that way. Yes, yeah, sir. So I think mm. we really need a focus or uh. priority sector. Uh. We we do have priority sector in economic community, mm. but we I don't think we have a good focus or mm. good priority on social and, cultural and in community. In this case, who who the ASEAN who who going to talk about all this? 
it should be they sit long time they haven't met, right? Well, I think one one of the problem in ASEAN is that uh, each country tend to be taught about history of warfare among each other in school ah. textbook. Oh. We tend to emphasize a lot about warfare with neighboring countries, which are the member of ASEAN. We even produce the movies of sure. fighting against our neighbor. <laughs> yes, reproduce, <laughs> keep reproducing. So I think mm. we should re-examine mm. the textbook. Mm. Sometimes we may need to come together mm. and, and try to, to write uh, co-author mm. textbook, mm. history, mm. history mm. textbook together. Mm. Actually, we have so a positive side of history. Mm. For example, if you take a look at ethnic group mm. in ASEAN, yes. we tend to share a similar ethnic group. Of course. Some in, in Myanmar, some in Laos, some in Cambodia, yes, some sir. in Thailand. Uh, but once, once you draw the map, once yeah. you draw the map into uh, the state, yes. here you, you have a problem. Uh, yeah, uh, problem. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so we, we should emphasize more on the common history of ethnic group of people mm. who share culture, mm. who share uh, traditions, many things we, we do share, mm. but in historical textbooks, school textbooks, mm. we tend to emphasize mm. the problem mm. with neighboring country mm -hmm. in the past, mm. really long, long past. Mm. Until today, what have gone into our uh, success, like uh, what we have uh, integration of uh, economic, like you said, mm. we did have about the exchange of the human resources, human uh, workers, mm. workforce, and what else? Education, no? Education, not much. That, that, that is uh, very much wanting. Because uh, we, we do have, for example, IMTGT scholarship program. Mm. IMT refer to Indonesia, Malaysia, Malaysia Thailand, Thailand Growth Triangle, mm -hmm. Growth triangle uh, scholarship. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, we, we give scholarship for on. exchange student for oh, one see. semester, one uh -huh. year or so. Uh -huh. But the uh, number of applicants tend to be very low. For example, Thai students, they prefer to go where? Western countries, <laughs> Western. Japan, uh, Korea, uh, <laughs> Australia. Uh, so not so many students apply for this grant. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, so we, we, should, we should consider, we should have a, a look more to our neighboring country. I if think. you are the one being chosen mm. to solve the problem, to get into this ASEAN community, I mean, uh, what do you call, commit, committee, mm -hmm. what, what is the first uh, priority that you need to solve the problem? Which one that you said, yes, this is the first thing. It has to be done. I think the first thing I would like to do is to have common history textbook. Common as history. I mentioned, I think mm. education and uh, the feeling, the mindset of the people is very important. Mm. Nowadays, if you take a look in, in many sports mm -hmm. in, in ASEAN, mm -hmm. SEA Games now is going to happen in Malaysia. Ah. But if you take a look at the news, there would be Oh, that country may be cheating. Mm. Uh, mm, we have to try our best. Time. It's like a more like a competitive spirit, mm. competition spirit, not not much mm. cooperation spirit. Mm. I hope exactly. Uh, Sometimes even fighting. Yeah, because Sometimes we emphasize clashing. a lot on, on nationalism in, mm. in, in any country in ASEAN. Mm. Because why? Uh, we have been uh, we have gained independence mm. many country only mm. after the end of the World War Two. So mm -hmm. only 60 years has passed. Mm -hmm. There are still new, new nations. Mm -hmm. So they have mm -hmm. to go on the process of nation building. Mm -hmm. So that they need nationalism. nationalism. And when you, you need nationalism, you need enemy. Otherwise, you cannot nurture uh, uh, nationalism. Uh, Who is your enemy? Uh, convenient enemy is your neighbor. Your neighbor. <laughs> that, yeah. that you have warfare in the exactly. past. Exactly. So I think th this problem needs to be... Uh, uh, so sort of the feeling of the people. I think it's high time that you to, to invite the professor to get into it because um, some of our neighbors also do not agree with the history written by Thai. Mm -hmm. you know, it's never happened, mm -hmm. something like that, you know. Mm -hmm. so, so yet it's high time, I think. Now we're 50, we're talking today because it's 50 years mm -hmm. past, half a century mm -hmm. is passing already, you mm -hmm. know. So uh, time to go, time to, time to have the feeling like you said, we have the feeling of unity is very important. We now, need to grow up. We need to grow up. So it seemed like uh, Thailand. It's too separate, separate, separate. But then in dealing with the people to work in your country, I go. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's something to be. So this is the major. So what is real, the major problem 
was in efforts to, to narrow the development gap among the member countries. To narrow development gap is mm -hmm. not only the matter of ASEAN, mm -hmm. but it pretty much depends on domestic mm -hmm. uh, government in, in each country mm -hmm. as well. Uh, I think, but now I think we are heading toward a, a good direction uh -huh. because investment now mm -hmm. not only concentrated into uh, better off country like Thailand, mm -hmm. Malaysia, mm -hmm. now is, is moving mm -hmm. to Myanmar, to Laos mm -hmm. and to Cambodia. So I think in, in the next uh, 10 years or so, mm -hmm. the economy in, in those countries uh -huh. will be developing mm -hmm. and the development gap problem will be a lesson than, than, than today. But mm -hmm. yet we need to be very concerned about the distribution of income mm -hmm. problem and redistribution mm -hmm. of income mm -hmm. problem. Mm -hmm. Not to have uh, money concentrated in only a few pockets. Mm -hmm. So that's that, that, that quite difficult, you know, mm -hmm. in, in globalization, uh, liberalism, neoliberalism, yeah. people I mean, you, you can gain, you can accumulate your capital as much as, as possible. Mm. So I think it's not only problem of ASEAN, mm. problem in the global scale. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me come back because since you are the director of the Institute of East Asian Studies, mm. so um, uh, in Thammasat University, do you have any program or anything that for exchange with the ASEAN students or something? Uh, not only at my institute, mm -hmm. but uh, more broadly in the university. Mm -hmm. My institute tend to receive students mm -hmm. from, from Japan, oh. from Korea, <laughs> sometimes from China. You another one. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, have, they, they have more uh, funding uh, <laughs> to come. Uh -huh. But for, for ASEAN countries, uh, we, we, uh, we did receive students mm -hmm. from, from Malaysia, for example. Mm -hmm. But in, in university mm -hmm. in general, mm -hmm. uh, we, we try to promote mm -hmm. student exchange with uh, neighboring country. Mm -hmm. We receive students from Laos, Cambodia, Vietnam, Myanmar. Mm -hmm. And I, I, do, I did have some students mm -hmm. writing thesis with me who mm -hmm. are from Cambodia, mm -hmm. from Vietnam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so, so I think we, we try to promote, we try to promote exchange. Yes, so that they can feel that because so the Thai can also go. Then mm -hmm. we can learn the language because we don't speak ASEAN languages. Right, right, right. The ASEAN people the rest of them speak Thai. Right, many, many of them, they yes. Can they can easily converse Thai language so easily. Right, right. So, well, about high time for our Thai government to think about it also, that how to, how to have it done. Do you think so, as a, in the education I think terms, so, yeah? I think so, because mm -hmm. I think that the opportunity, the market opportunity is in there, in mm -hmm. the CLMV country, Cambodia, mm -hmm. Laos, Myanmar, and Vietnam. They are growing economies. Mm -hmm. Our human resource from mm -hmm. Thailand mm -hmm. uh, should be able to go there mm -hmm. to find opportunity to be entrepreneur, mm -hmm. developing some businesses there. Mm -hmm. But if you do not know the language, you cannot know the culture, you cannot know exactly. what people are thinking. Mm. So you, you need to study language of mm. that country. Yeah. So, uh, well, we are there and we need to be one and uh, so that we can progress, uh, develop together, walk uh, side by side to mm. all of us here. Yeah. Our time is up, sir. So please come back because that's an interesting talk uh, between, you know, this kind of information. Please come back and tell us more about that. Okay, thank right. you for having me. Of our program uh, with thanks to Associate Professor Dr. Kitty Professor Suk. He is a director of the Institute of the East Asian Studies, Thammasat University, and he also the coordinator of the ASEAN Watch Project under the Thailand Research Fund or TRF. Thank you so much, Professor. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Associate Professor Dr. Kitty Prasad Director of the Institute of East Asian Studies, Thammasat University, and coordinator of the ASEAN Watch Project under the Thailand Research Fund, or TRF. Thank you so much, sir, for joining our program today. We see that uh, after ASEAN was born in the midst of turmoil 50 years ago, now ASEAN has matured and involved to become a community that is politically cohesive, economically integrated, and socially responsible. Thank you for watching Thailand today. I'm Kusuma Yotas. We'll talk to you again. Sadika.